In a world that never sleeps, the unexpected can turn an ordinary day into a day of high tension. Today in the heart of the Middle East, the unexpected did just that. Imagine a serene day abruptly shattered by the urgent wailing of air raid sirens. Across Israel, from the bustling streets of Tel Aviv to the ancient walls of Jerusalem, these blaring alarms became the ominous soundtrack of the day. In the skies above, a battle unseen by the naked eye was unfolding. Israel's air defense system, a marvel of modern technology, sprang into action, intercepting incoming threats from Iran. The stakes were high, the tension palpable. Below, the people of this nation paused, their hearts pounding, their eyes glued to news updates, their minds filled with uncertainty. The normal hum of life was replaced by the sound of sirens and the distant echoes of interception. These moments of unexpected turmoil brought a heightened sense of reality. The world watched, held its breath, and waited. As the sirens wailed, a nation braced itself for what was to come. Every action has a reaction, every cause, an effect. Let's delve deeper into the heart of the chaos that has unfurled today. At the core of it all, Iran's drone and missile attack on Israel. But what prompted such an aggressive response from Iran? It leads us back to the first day of April, a day that saw Israel's attack on Iran's embassy in Damascus, Syria. This act of aggression by Israel was not taken lightly by Iran and served as the catalyst for today's events. Iran's mission to the UN has stated that their response was a direct consequence of Israel's actions earlier this month. They've gone as far as to declare that the matter can be deemed concluded. A bold statement indeed. But what does this mean for the future? Only time will tell. In the world of diplomacy, actions speak louder than words. In the face of danger, leaders rise to the occasion. As tensions escalated, Israel's Prime Minister Netanyahu made a critical decision. He convened Israel's war cabinet, gathering the nation's top military and political minds to strategize and prepare. The severity of the situation was not lost on them. Military spokesperson Daniel Hagari termed the attack as a severe and dangerous escalation, highlighting the gravity of this unexpected turn of events. The nation braced itself as the men and women in uniform prepared to defend their homeland. They were ready to put their lives on the line to safeguard their people, their homes, and their way of life. Amid the chaos and uncertainty, a beacon of leadership emerged, guiding the nation through the turmoil. Every decision taken, every plan put into action, was a testament to the resilience, determination, and unity of a nation under threat. It is in such moments of crisis that true leadership is revealed, and the mettle of a nation is put to the test. When the stakes are high, leadership is put to the test. In our interconnected world, a ripple in one place can cause waves in another. The situation in the Middle East is a stark reminder of this reality. Across the Atlantic, the United States is on high alert. Within the halls of power, President Biden is being kept abreast of the unfolding events. This is not a situation that will resolve within the blink of an eye. The attack, as projected by experts, is likely to unfold over a number of hours. A nerve-wracking anticipation hangs in the air. A chess game of international diplomacy and military strategy is in play. Every move, every decision carries weight and consequence, not just for those directly involved, but for the world at large. In the face of such a volatile situation, the world can do nothing but watch, wait, and hope for a peaceful resolution. Global concern is heightened, and rightly so. This is not just a regional issue, it's a global one, affecting us all in one way or another. As the world watches, every second counts. In the wake of chaos, the dust begins to settle. The timing of events is a peculiar dance of cause and effect. The drone attacks reported on Saturday night came at a critical juncture, shortly after Hamas declared it had submitted its ceasefire proposal in Gaza to mediators in Egypt and Qatar. This raises questions. Was the timing coincidental or was it a calculated move designed to send a message? As the world grapples with these questions, the potential implications are vast and varied. A ceasefire could bring a much-needed respite, paving the way for negotiations and potentially peace. But if the drone attacks were indeed a response to the proposal, they could signify a rejection of peace talks and an escalation of tensions. The world's response, as ever, 
is a mosaic of diplomacy, power plays, and public sentiment. The United Nations, international leaders, and citizens worldwide watch and wait, their reactions shaping the trajectory of this unfolding story. And so the aftermath of today's events is not just about what happened, but also about how we respond and what we do next. In the end, every day is a page in the story of our world. 